Fernandez has a conversation this evening with Tina Johnson as she searches for answers. Tonight, Tina Johnson, her husband, and 15 year old grandson who lived in the home are staying in a motel as investigators with the Etowah County Sheriff's Office try to piece together what happened. Tina Johnson looks at her home that is now charred, a home she's lived in for 10 years with her grandson and husband. My whole family were devastated. This is, this is overwhelming. This is way too much. It's just, you just, you just cannot comprehend what we're going through. She tells me priceless memories were lost in the fire. Johnson says no one was home on Wednesday's fire. Our whole life was in there. You know, Christmas, we just, you know, had a good Christmas and all of it's gone. You may recall Johnson claimed Roy Moore groped her at a law office in 1991. Moore denied those allegations. Arson investigators with the Etowah County Sheriff's Office say there isn't any reason to believe the fire is in any way connected to Moore or the allegations. We really don't know what happened, but Etowah County is investigating and I have. I think that they'll do a good investigation. I think that they'll find out what happened. Johnson tells me the community has really come together to help her family. I thank everyone for your help and your thoughts and your prayers because that's what we need right now. She does have insurance and plans to return to her home, but tells me it could be a while. Rebuilding right here on this land. We rebuilding. We coming back. For now, her family remains in a motel while the investigation continues. Matt Fernandez, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.